In this video, we are going to make access management system using RFID, the same technology on which NFC payment works. MetroCard gives access to station, also using self-checkout store and automatic toll gate that cuts you toll and open the gate for you. This all has one common technology in them, and in this video, we are going to cover how it works, what are its advantages with applications, and in the end, we will make a simple access control system using Arduino. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Imagine a world where access is as simple as a wave of your hand or a tap of a card. Today we're delving into the fascinating world of RFID, the technology that powers the seamless access systems we encounter every day. Let's know more about RFID or radio frequency identification. It can be used to uniquely identify or track anything. The RFID system mainly consists of two components, RFID tag, and RFID reader. RFID tags can be active, which requires power supply, or passive, which does not require power. Passive RFID tags are popular and cheaper option and used in wide range of operations, like inventory management and supply chain management, institutions, library, hospitals, schools, and colleges, transportation and logistics, access control, sports, animal tracking, and many more. Now let's understand how it works. A tag has chip and antenna, and reader has controller chip with RRF signal generator and signal receiver. When a tag is placed near the reader, the reader induces power into the tag using magnetic or electromagnetic waves and reads the data. Our FIDI systems are based on various frequencies, and among these various frequencies, the three most widely spread systems are LFRFID, HFRFID, and the most commonly used frequency is UFRFID or RAIN RFID, 840-960 MHz. Now let's interface the RFID reader with Arduino and make an access management system. We will need RFID reader with tag, output LEDs, Arduino Uno, servo motors, and breadboard for connections with jumper wires. Now let's connect the reader to Arduino as shown on screen using SPI pins and supply pins. Then connect servo to pin number two of Arduino. And connect green led to pin three and red LED to pin four of Arduino using breadboard. Code is ready and connection are done. Connected Arduino to PC and upload the code. Place the tag near the reader and we can see that access is granted to known tag activated with green LED. But if unknown tag or card is placed on reader, it denies the access and turns on red LED. Follow us for more such interesting video until we meet again.